Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. These are the two that we're going to graph. So take a moment. I want you to uh, pause the video and try with a table of values, complete your table of values, try to find your vertex and graph the two functions. Welcome back. So if you've graphed these two, this is the parabola you should be getting. Okay, the blue represents y is equal to x plus 4. The black represents y is equal to x minus 4. So let's take the information here from this blue parabola. Vertex, there it is, at negative 4 and 0. Okay, axis of symmetry, I do that in green is right where we would put the mirror, right? And just as we said, the axis of symmetry, we're gonna take the x value of our vertex. So our axis of symmetry for the blue parabola is at x is equal to negative four. Direction of the opening, well, opening is up. What is the value of the a value? The a value here is one, as it is in both of them, and it's positive, okay? The pattern, well, because the A value is one, it follows a one, three, five pattern. So let's try that out here. We're gonna use red to show the movement. So from the vertex, okay, so from the vertex, we move to the right one, up one. There's the pattern in the first one. Right one, up three. Okay, right one, up five. There are our points. Okay, so they follow the one, three, five, and obviously, if we take it all the way across, right, from our axis of symmetry, okay, we're able to extract the same points on the opposite side. Okay, and in terms of the maximum and minimum value, again, now for maximum and minimum value, okay, maximum and minimum value, we are looking at this y value here. And because the parabola is opening up, word, okay, we have a minimum. Where is the minimum? The minimum is at, what, again, as we said, whatever the value of y is. And the minimum is at y is equal to zero. And in terms of range, because we have a minimum value, we know it includes every number of y that is above from the vertex. For, for in terms of y. So we're looking at every number along here and up. So the lowest value for y in a minimum, okay, so the minimum y value that we have in our parabola is at zero. And it includes every number that is greater than zero, but also including zero. Okay. Let's look at the same information now for the next parabola. Vertex here, okay? So vertex is at four and zero. Axis of symmetry, what is our x value of our vertex? So our axis of symmetry is right here, okay? At x is equal to four. Now in terms of the direction of the opening, parabola opens upwards. The pattern, well, because the a value here is a one, so the pattern is one, three, five. Again, from our vertex, oops. Okay, from our vertex, move to the right. One, up one. To the right one, up three. To the right one, up five. Okay. And in terms of maximum and minimum value, just as we said, the because the parabola is opening upwards, we have a minimum. It's at whatever the y value was of the vertex, which is zero. So our minimum is at, at zero. And in terms of the range, what numbers, okay, from y, 
are included in this parabola where this number includes everything that is greater than zero and equal to zero. Okay. So let's recap now the bits of information here. Y is equal to AX squared versus Y is equal to A uh, brackets X minus H. So the vertex in Y is equal to AX squared, as we've seen in the past, zero, zero. In terms of Y is equal to AX minus H, now if we go back here, okay, to this here, let's look at the vertex, okay, because this is gonna be a very, very important point. This is where a lot of confusion lies. So here in terms of this vertex, the vertex here is at negative four and zero. Here, the vertex okay, is at four and zero. Now, this value here, let's use a different color, within the brackets, that represents the x-axis of the vertex. But now notice here, we have x plus four, but we have minus four. We have x minus four here, but the x value of the vertex is positive four. So whenever we have within the brackets here, okay, whenever we have within the brackets here, the vertex is always going to be opposite or the x value is going to be opposite of whatever the sign is for whatever's within the brackets. So within the brackets, we have a negative h in the brackets, which means our vertex x value is going to be positive. Okay. Now, in terms of axis of symmetry, x is equal to 0. Remember, as we said, we take the x value for our axis of symmetry. In terms of the x axis of symmetry, again, if we're taking the x value, x is equal to h. And here's the trick. Take what's in the brackets, this x minus h, for this axis of symmetry. Make it equal 0. Solve for x. If you solve for x, right, we have x minus h equals 0. If we solve for x, we keep x on this side of the equal sign. We move this negative h to the opposite side. The sign changes. x is equal to h. And that's how we get our axis of symmetry. In terms of direction of the opening, well, the direction of the opening, well, if our a value is positive, parabola is opening upwards. If the a value is um, negative, the parabola opens downward, okay? And that works for both methods, okay, both versions. In terms of the pattern for graphing, well, it's whatever our a value is multiplied by 135. Okay. In terms of maximum and minimum value, again, if the, the parabola opens up, we have a minimum. So if, it's, if the parabola is po if the A value is positive, we have a minimum value, and the minimum value is whatever at, at y, our Y value is at zero. So Y is equal to zero or maximum if the parabola is going uh, downward. And in terms of, again, same thing, if we're looking at the Y value of the, uh, of the vertex, okay, if the parabola is, the A value is positive and we have a minimum value, y is equal to zero, y is equal to zero for the maximum and minimum value. Now in terms of range now, our range again deals with our y value. y is greater than or equal to zero or y is less than or equal to zero. And finally, the same thing applies in terms of the range for the parabola when in this format. Okay, so let's take a moment